Hey, this is Jamie from CapsuleComputers.com, and today I want to welcome you to another episode of Capsule Computers Impact, where we're showing off the latest and the greatest of video games. Today we have Sh Middle Earth Shadow of Mortar here. <clears throat> it is uh, Warner Brothers' latest, I guess, foray into pre existing uh, intellectual properties. And I have to say, they've done one heck of a good job on this one. Uh, this Shadow of Mortar takes place in between The Hobbit and the first of the three uh, Lord of the Ring trilogy books, and breaks completely new ground story-wise. It stars Talion, a ranger of Gondor, who after being, f I guess, forcibly uh, forced into participating in a blood ritual and becomes a sacrifice with him and his family, gets banished from death and attached to this wraith who is actually the original, I guess, the original smith of the Rings of Power. And now the two of them are on a trail of vengeance, just slaughtering Uryx all the way to the Black Hand to, I guess, undo this curse. So here we are. We're in the second map of uh, Shadow of Mordor. It's a lot greener and a lot prettier place to be, but still crawling with Uryx. So here's our map, and this is our nemesis system. Pretty much the bread and butter of this game, and what makes this game totally totally stand out compared to other games. The, the world is really alive, uh, the Sauron's army is constantly growing, changing as you're knocking people off. Uh, as you're dying, you you become, you get you get rivals and nemesis that will possibly track you down, and they remember the previous encounters you had. So let's say if I ran away from one, he'll call me a coward and try to beat the crap out of me the next time I see him. And uh, you can actually, I guess, I would move. They call it, the game calls it branding, but I guess it's a form of mind control where you can actually insert your little spies into Sauron's army. For example, this guy. I branded him earlier, so he's actually friendly to me. And you actually are going to have to like track people down to get intelligence on Sauron's officers so you can figure out like their strengths and weaknesses and the ways to easily kill them. So let's pick up on... Um, let's see, we'll do some... We'll do a side mission here to kick things off. So this is one of the slave rescue missions. You get these from rescuing random slaves around the map and they'll say, oh, you know, my buddy, my buddy is stuck here. Could you go rescue the rest of them? And it'll give you the alternate currency in the game, which will help you buff your weapons, and your health, and your arrows, and your focus levels. Alright, so... Looks like it's a pretty small camp. Okay, so these green markers show that there's some intelligence here to be collected from Sauron's army, so actually I think I'm going to do this first. His weaknesses. Okay, so combat finishers. I'll just chuck him aside for now. All right, so you got a lot of flexibility on how you want to approach this game, whether you want to play it mostly from the range, the melee, or stealth. Had someone a road building detail. 
I was starting to collapse after just 10 hours. Personally, I'm just going to Boy, go jump the first guy. Slaves only got eyes for working. <laughs> So as I'm building combos here, I'm able to pull off execution moves, drain people for their drain people for, for more focus, or just brand them to turn them into a friendly unit. So I'm going to dominate this guy. One of the abilities you can do is send a death threat to send a death threat to these uh, captains, and they'll become more powerful and and uh, get a little gang to protect them. But when you kill a captain, you get a rune that you can attach to your weapons to give you a little extra buff here or there. And sending these death threats give them a really nice chance to drop a epic one. So I'm actually going to find one here that can be instantly killed by something easy. That should do. Yeah. Alright, so he's actually lost his uh, ability to be instantly killed by car mounted caragors. That eh, shouldn't be too much of a hassle. Now he's just going to go on his merry business as if nothing happened. I suppose it was my imagination. Let's see how many of these I can pull here. Now that I've got myself a pretty sizable army, I'm going to actually press up on the D-pad. And they're immediately going to go berserk and start killing the opposition orcs. And in this little moment of chaos, I'm just going to sneak out here. Free this guy. Of course, Talion is about... Shit. Sorry, buddy. So the combat system is very simple. It's just X to attack, Y to Y to parry, uh, B to stun, and A to dodge. Uh, everything's based on a combo system. If it seems familiar to you, then you've probably played another Warner Brother game that did really well with an existing IP, which is Batman Arkham. The entire Arkham series, actually. Oh, 
mad, Phil? I've been looking for you. I need something novel to torture. Oh, so I bumped into one of Sauron's... Sauron's, uh... Guys. I wasn't actually looking for him. Okay, I'm going to actually just take a quick peek to see if I... Huh, okay. So he's an arrow. I don't actually have any intel on him. I probably should have actually just branded him and Alright, let's see what we have here. Level 15. Okay, let's sell these ones. Oh, we got a collectible up here. Okay, so this is the Wraith, um, the Wraith, I guess, Wraith Vision. Nani here, Galar Mordor. As you can see, I can start seeing some of the enemies in the distance. Uh, no captains here, but here is, this is, you can definitely mark captains off with this view. Quite surprised I didn't get caught there. Just slaughter our way to the next slave. guy's doing a pretty awful job of, I guess, guarding the slave. I don't know why he's looking at the slave instead of, like, the directions Please people be coming from. Remember that. Oh, well. He's going to meet a very unpleasant end. So we got some more intel there. I'm going to go snag that. So it looks like one of the slaves actually has the intel this time. So I'm just going to go kill this one and I'm going to send another death threat. Alright, who haven't I threatened with death yet? All right, you go tell him I'm off to kill, going to kill him. Oh crap, where am I getting shot at from? All right, tell me about this guy.
Alright, I think let's go chase down one of those guys I've put a death threat on. Let's start with this guy. Ranger abilities. Definitely starting to get to some of the cooler ones now that we're in the final tiers of things. As you can see, the world is definitely alive. Things are happening around me, not just because of me. These Karagor are now attacking... Attacking some patrolling Uruks, I'm guessing. And... Reinforcements are being called... To help deal with them. Personally, I don't want to be part of that. However, I do want that bit of intel you know, over here. Got set on fire the other day. Uh, you know what? Heck, I'm going to just take them all on. Brutalize this guy and make the rest of them run. Now that they're running, catch up to this guy. Yet somehow, those guys totally didn't even notice what, what was going on. Alright. A little bit of rodeo. I've now got myself a mount to cause some havoc. Find some slaves to break. This looks like we've got a bit of a in faction struggle here. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'm going. That's the guy I want. I'm just going to sneak right up on him and finish this quick. Hopefully before he dies. Since I miss there, I'm just going to trigger my special ability and let me just stealth kill as many people as possible. Do you command in death? Do not want him running. Oh, actually, it's a friendly guy. Okay, never mind. I'll just leave him be.
Whoops, I accidentally killed the guy I was looking to interrogate, but it's okay, we'll just go get this archer instead. Pretty sure we got intel on everyone, so I'm just going to send another death. Oh, never mind. Uh, all right, we have some new generals that have stepped into the fold now that I knocked off a few and some time has passed. Thank you for your assistance. However, I have no need for you anymore. Let's see here. Let's go hop over to a story mission for a change of pace here. Oops. Trial by ordeal used to be a thing they did in the Middle Ages where they figured if you were truly innocent then God was on your side and you know no matter what ordeal they put you through, whether they'd be throwing you into like a river or something, and then you'd be okay. Marwan said to bring her an army. We shall not build an army. We shall command one. We'll need to find an Uruk captain to dominate and make our own. There is a slave near here named Grublik. We will make him serve our cause. <laughs> I guess I can't instantly kill him. I 
guess it's time to start knocking off his bodyguards. The great part is the game actually remembers these guys you've captured when you return to the area. Most of the times they'll be they'll still be there. Just waiting for your orders. What else do we have to drink? What was that? It's a dead one. Oh, someone drank a little too much grog. Sorry to interrupt your puking, buddy, but I need you. Someone sneaking about. You eat your own Something just moved. Whatever it was, it doesn't dare face me. Well, if it was something, then it better stay away. What just did you hear that? Get back to work and stop talking there. So that one isn't coming. I think I got most of the camp so far. him right away. What was that? So I've got two more guys left on this camp. Let's see if I can get the last two guys and then... I don't think it's happening. We'll just do it this way. Wow, 
All right, let's go get ourselves a uh, bodyguard. We must now make this captain a bodyguard if he is ever to be a war chief. It is from First Strike of Thunder that is soon born a spawn. Let's do a little bit of public service here. You're free! Run! Don't stop fighting, Ranger! Not getting away that easy. Our protege wields fear like a weapon, and we are his invisible ally. A shadow who stays close and sees all. That is the Elven way. fights for us well. Through my will, he steers these Uruks of Mordor. That was all of them. I conquered the weak. Now join me in victory. Any who oppose me will pay with their blood to red swords. All right, there we go. Got ourselves a nice, we fight for true Uruk. A nice little army here. Now that we have our hunter, let us stalk our prey. Time to knock off a war chief. The war chief has chosen our captain. Then he has chosen death. A great advantage will ready us for this battle. The slave's heart was too chewy for my life. That's because it's tastier while it's still beating. Listen to them. Vile savage beasts, and we shall harness and command their savagery. Huh? 
This guy must have like fingers of steel to do this. against them. All right, how am I going to get up here? Just take a quick check. What's his weakness here? Oh, okay. That's not going to be helpful for me. Heed my command! Let's just get into battle quickly here. left of your miserable life. Dominion! 
I am the strongest war chief in all of Mordor. I shall lead my army over a field of broken skulls. Come stand behind me, or let my blade meet your neck. Queen Marwyn's plan has given us great strength. Strength should not be squandered, but wielded. The Queen will show us how. Marwyn's strategy yields great results. An army of our own to face darkness head on. A mirror looking upon itself, ready to be cracked. We should return to Marwyn. She will have more for us. Been under the spell of a very powerful wizard. Talion, I am sorry. Saruman brought you here against my will. I went to him for help. I ended up being a prisoner within my own body. What have you seen in your visions? I have seen Sauron's servants, the Tower, and the Black Hand. He bring much suffering if you wish to know where they are they are across the sea of none their forces how strong strong enough to defeat us all then we truly will need an army Illness still plagues you. Rest, Mother. I will make preparations for our journey out of Mordor. So here we go. That's uh, pretty much a bit of everything in Shadow of Mordor. We've covered a little bit of melee combat, a little bit of story, a little bit of uh, slave freeing, and quite a bit of intelligence gathering and we've seen the nemesis system at work so if you want to learn more about shadow of mortar i if you're and you're watching this on youtube i strongly recommend you scroll down to the description of the video and check out our full written review so i'll catch you next time on our next episode of cap's computer impact <laughs>